Hello. I've written a simple utility that will take an image such as this one and add it to a page and then output that both as a CMYK PDF or CMYK TIFF, all using the Mako SDK. Before we delve into the code, let's see the thing in action. So let's run a command window. So there are the uh, same files that we saw just before. And um, we'll run image converter first. And the first thing we'll create is a PDF. So let's do that first. And this utility requires two output, um, two uh, arguments. The first is the input file. And then the second is an output. And if you choose PDF, it'll create a PDF. If you choose TIFF, it'll create a TIFF. So let's create a PDF first, and then we'll run it again. Do the same thing and create a TIFF file. Now, if I um, take a directory, you can see that I've got an ID card PDF, ID card TIFF. Let's close the um, command window. You can see the two files here. So let's have a look. They're both they're identical in appearance. So we we'll look at the PDF first. And you can see what we've done is we've taken the image, we've placed it onto a page, and we've added a small caption. And um, if we take a look at the information in the uh, PDF, we use the uh, pre-flighter here. Um, we'll see that the um, document information is um, there are four plates color spaces is a device CMYK there's one image on the page that again is CMYK and um, the font is in a CMYK font as well and we can do the same with the TIFF then we can just confirm that the image is indeed a CMYK image. So I go to mode, you can currently see it's a CMYK color, eight bits per channel, jolly good. Before we walk through the code, let's think about what it is that we're trying to do. We're gonna be working with the Mako object model. This is a simple example. So we'll be just working with some inputs such as the JPEG image that we want to use. We'll be creating some outputs, so creating a PDF, and we'll also be rendering so that we can create a TIFF version of the same content. There are three parts to this simple example. First, we have to create an assembly to which content can be added, add the required content, and save the assembly in the required format. But the first question we need to answer is, what is an assembly? An assembly is the root object of the document model. An assembly can contain multiple documents. In this example, we'll only be working with a single document because PDF only allows one document within a PDF. And then a document will consist of pages. And on each of those pages will be DOM objects, which actually describe the content. So let's look at the code that creates the assembly. So the first thing that the program does is to create a document assembly, and it does it with this code here. So this um, creates the assembly. This code creates the document, and this code creates a page. Now, having created those objects, they need to be associated with one another. So this these two lines here, first of all, append the page to the document and then appends the document to the assembly. So at this point, we're ready to create some content. Now let's look at the code that creates the required content. The first task is to create a fixed page. A fixed page is a coordinate space onto which we can absolutely position the other elements that make up the page. 
In this case, I've created it as an A5 landscape. The next thing to create is a rectangular structure that will enable us to position the image onto the page. Next, we load the image from the local file. Because it's a JPEG file, we need to interpret it as JPEG data, and then it's loaded into a generic image object. In order to use the image on the page, we've got to load it into a brush. So we create a brush and load it immediately with the image data taken from the local file. So at this point, we have a path that can be drawn with a brush that's loaded with the image that we took from disk. And now we can add that to the fixed page using this statement here, append child. For this example, I've also chosen to add some text. In order to draw text onto the page, we're going to need a brush. In this case, I'm creating a solid color brush in an RGB specified color. I'm not concerned about that because the entire content is going to be converted to CMYK on output anyway. And now I can create some glyphs onto the page. So using a glyphs object, I can create some text at a given point size and at a given position. Having created all of that, of course, we have to actually add it to the page. So we do that. And now our two objects, our image and our text, are present on the page. We're now ready to add that fixed page to the page in the assembly. And we use the set content method to do that. So at this point, we're ready to output. And the last part is to see how the assembly can be saved in the required formats. To save the document to PDF, we use a PDF output object. To control the way that the PDF is written, we can set parameters. In this case, I've chosen to set the target color space to device CMYK, and I've also chosen the parameter to convert all colors to ensure that all of the content, the image, the text, anything else that may be on the page is also converted. Finally, the entire document assembly is written to the output file. To save the page as a bitmap, it's necessary to render it. So we use a render object over which I can control such parameters as the DPI and the color space. I can then render that to an image, which I can subsequently encode, in this case, as a TIFF before writing it to an output stream. With that, the job is done.